Three days after becoming the first team in Ligue 1 Conferama to take a point off Paris Saint-Germain this season, Bordeaux welcomed European hopeful Saint-Etienne to the Matmut Atlantique on Wednesday. The Girondins are looking to build on their two-all draw with the champions to move back up into the top half of the table. Le Vert, who swept past Nantes on Friday, hoping to close the gap on the podium. Well, this was a 113th meeting between these two sides, making this the most played fixture in French football. Well, after a lively opening, which saw Yusuf Saboli hit the post for Bordeaux, it was Saint-Étienne who forged ahead on 16 minutes. Brilliant work here from Remy Capella, slicing through the Bordeaux defence before setting up Lois Dione for his fourth goal of the season. Well, brilliant stuff there from Cabela. Getting away from Jan Caramo, just turning inside. And the pass for Dione, getting his first goal in a month. But that lead was short-lived. Jimmy Brion bringing Bordeaux back on level terms just six minutes later. Not the most spectacular of finishes, but they all count. His fourth of the campaign, he was also on target against PSG over the weekend. And a serious head injury there for Nevin Subotic, getting hit in the face by the knee of his goalkeeper, Stefan Ruffier. Mathieu Debussy also had to go off with an ankle problem for Saint-Étienne. Well, Zedou Youssef off there for Bordeaux. Injuries on both sides in the first half. Bordeaux coming forward again early in the second period. And they were awarded a penalty. After this, cross from Caramo was handled by William Saliba, who came on for the injured Subotic. The referee checking with VAR. And so up step Francois Camano to get his first goal in almost two months. The Guinan International with his eighth of the campaign. And there was also to be an eighth goal of the campaign for Wabi Kazri on 67 minutes. Oli Selnies with the header across, Cabela. Just getting it there for the Tunisian international. No celebration against his former side. And this is his first goal away from home this season. So that was 2-2. Two -two. Well, there was then a first in Ligue 1 Conferama. Yunus Sankara grappling here with Selnies. Shown a straight red card by Clement Turpin, the referee. But then, after a referral to the VAR, Turpin went back on his decision, calling Sankare back from the changing rooms. His red becoming a yellow. And more importantly, Bordeaux winning the game at the death. A 90th minute winner from Pablo. Only his second league on Conferama goal, and his first since September 2015. So Bordeaux back into the top half for the first time since late October. They're now 10th. Saint-Étienne remained five points ahead of them in sixth.